You tell yourself that one more cigarette won't hurt. You convince yourself that maybe you don't really want to quit. But you're here. And you're here for a reason. And not everybody believes in fate. And that's a good thing. That means that this was your decision. That quitting was your decision. And failing will be your decision if you make it. The difference in success or failure is your willingness to endure the pain. The mental pain that tries to trick you, that tries to tell you that quitting isn't possible. Over the last year, so many people have reached out to me to share their progress and to tell me their story. But you see, every story is different. But it's the end goal that's all the same. All these people, just like you, felt the same withdrawal you do, had the same thoughts you do. But they pushed past it. There's this common excuse among smokers that they need the nicotine to control the stress in their life. One of my best friends, two months without a cigarette, shows up at work with a new pack, says he was just too stressed out. He needed a smoker, he was gonna lose it. So he punished himself with an addiction for being punished by life. And here's the thing, the reason he was stressed is because his car broke down. That made him an hour late for work and fixing his car was gonna cost him over $1,500. So because his car broke down, which will cost him more money than he has to repair it, to feel better about himself, he spent even more money that he can't afford to spend to buy smokes that'll do nothing for him but get him hooked again. Two months of progress. He made it through the withdrawal, and his cravings were getting more and more rare. Now it's back to square one, and he hasn't tried to quit since. I mean, look, we all fail from time to time, but... We should never let it go without a fight. I mean, you worked so fucking hard to make the progress that you've made. And this idea to throw it away because of one bad day is a disservice to what you're capable of. Never forget you're here for a reason. And that reason won't go away by ignoring it. You want to make a positive change in your life. But sometimes we have to fight for change. If you haven't quit yet, but you're thinking about it, consider this your sign. No more of this, I'll start next week, I'll start next month or next year. No more saying, uh, maybe just cutting back is good enough. It's easy to make excuses. Shit, I have made so many excuses myself in the past. The first time I wanted to quit smoking was four years before I actually ended up quitting. And if I didn't make the excuses to keep smoking for those four years, I could have saved thousands of dollars and could have been healthier. But I mean, even if you don't think you care about those things very much, just remember that there are these assholes out there that own these tobacco companies. And you can smoke until you die for all they care because we keep making them richer. So don't pay them to kill you. All of you are the difference between success and failure. But the bright side here is that you get to choose your own path. And I really hope you're with the rest of us on our path to a smoke-free life. If you're done with smoking, subscribe to this channel for weekly motivation that'll keep us all going. And comment down below letting me know your progress. Even if it's day one, we all gotta start somewhere. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.